So, someone, sir, excuse me. I excuse you need me. to wait outside. I told you before I this is private property. You do have to get out. Of hey, 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 do not touch me, sir. This is the third time I've done this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to step off the property. There's a federal law saying you can title on inside. I'm not on your property right. You are on the property. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's kind of disrespectful that we're here to do some shit like that, right? I apologize. I'm dealing with this. It doesn't matter. I apologize. You guys called us. We came in. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You need to step outside. Hold on. Can we? We can all. We can all talk for a second. No. Get out of front of the door. Hold on. 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 Thank you. The gentleman showed up like about an hour ago. He's refusing to leave the property. Uh, he does need to leave the property. Hold on. We will. Okay. In a second. Can, can, in a second. Can you guys I'm trying to figure, figure out what's going on. We can't figure any of this out unless you guys let us so figure it out. Here's the thing. He doesn't belong here. He's an outsider. Get him outside the building. So this is, Dante, this this is private place. property. I know. Dante, get him outside. Just give him a minute, okay? They're, gonna, they're here for us. I understand. Thank you. Yeah, he does need to shut that door because it's private. Can we just move past that and yeah. figure this out while we're here? Yeah. Who is he? Yeah. You have no idea who he is. Okay. He doesn't, he doesn't work here? No. no. He, has no he has no business here? No. Okay. I, he's identified himself to me. I've got his information oh, from his okay. California oh, okay. driver's license. Okay. Well, well, either way, you no business here. No, no. Okay. Do you mind what we're talking to? No problem. Apologies. Aaron Green. Aaron? All right. Um, so, OpenAI is headquartered here. Yes. They're a non-profit organization under okay. the Internal Revenue Code. Because they're a non-profit organization, they have public disclosure requirements under federal law. One of those requirements is that if you appear at their headquarters, person to 26 U.S.C. 6104D, they are required by law immediately to provide a copy of their tax returns. So I came here as a member of the public to get a copy of their tax returns, which federal law says I am entitled to do. Okay. And they're saying that I don't have that right, which is incorrect. Did you try to contact their, their supervisors or anything? Yeah, they won't let me talk to them. Did you try calling? I called their CPAs this morning. Kind of. What did they say? They said the company. Did they say that? Do you have a name? Uh, yes, I can tell you the name of the firm. They wouldn't let me talk to anyone there. Well, either way. Why don't you schedule like a meet with the CPA? I'm not required to under the law. Well, the law says I can come here and get a coffee immediately. Yeah, it's like close. It's the only. I'll, I'll I would keep more. I would just contact. Just so it kind of. As I said, I did try that. Well, I would try to say something so it kind of ignores, or not ignores, but it would uh, prevent issues like this, right? Well, I mean, I understand that it might be more polite in some sense, but I do have the right to be here, and I do have the right to see their country. They are required under federal law to provide them. I can, again, give you the law. I can show you the text of the law, if you like. It says, upon request of an individual made at such principal office or such a regional district office, a copy of such annual return reports and exempt status application materials or such notice materials shall be provided to such individual without charge and other than a reasonable fee for any reproduction and mailing costs, the request described in subparagraph C must be made in person or in writing. If such request is made in person, such copy shall be provided immediately, and if made in writing, shall be provided within 30 days. So that's what it says, and that's why I'm here. And I've done this with other nonprofits of similarly important status, and there's been no problem. So I don't understand why there's a problem here. I would just suggest, I mean, to keep it civil, you know what I mean? Because you're, you're requesting their documents, and I'm not discrediting that whatever you read isn't right or anything, right? But you're kind of drawing the line of being civil with each other, right? But I don't and think, I think I've learned again, anything that's not civil, is there? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is there a way you can just contact whoever told you to come? So, no or at least at the very, I work for myself. You said you, you just said you, you contacted. Oh, I contacted their CPAs, the accounting firm. Or the, the, is there someone you could, or whoever you contacted can get some point of contact, They're so you can. To, I, I wish they would do that. Believe me. But well, I mean, th this is not my responsibility to figure out how to handle the request on their side. That's their responsibility. And I'm here. They're a nonprofit. They don't pay taxes, and in response, in, in exchange for that, uh, 
you know, privilege of not having to pay taxes, they are required to provide this information to the public. So they can they can have it either I, way. They can pay taxes and not disclose it, or they can not are pay taxes these people and disclose that are here, it. Are they specifically the ones that work with AI for AI? My understanding because there's is multiple that offices here, correct? I believe this is just OpenAI. Now. There's multiple. It's not just. The, everything's kind of dated, but there should be other buildings or other offices. This is the office listed on their tax oh, returns. Well, either way, I'm just asking instead of just kind of arguing with the staff and shoving your way in back and forth. I didn't shove anybody. <laughs> can you let me finish? Is, is there a way we can do this civilly, where you can contact, get a point of contact? Yeah, the point of contact is their accounting firm, and I contact them. Okay. Um, I think it's just, it's kind of like a double-edged sword because it is a it, it's a private property, so they can turn you away. They actually if can't they, under federal law. Okay. On private property? Correct. It's a public nonprofit. Right. It's a public foundation. But it's still private property. This is their but property. Like some, like some, some homeless person can't just walk in here. They you know, can, they can, they can if they're asking for the tax relief. We're not, we're not going to argue about that. So, um. Okay. Well, I'm not going to leave until I get a copy of the tax return, which I'm entitled to. Please stay out here. Sure. So he, he's asking for some, uh, uh, do you know what he's asking for? Yes. Okay, do you work for OpenAI? We work for security, but we're not the uh, Is, is OpenAI headquartered here? No. Where's OpenAI? Why does he think OpenAI is there? You'll have to ask him. Who, who works here? I work here. We work here, but we're, what's, we're not tracking here. It's, is there a business that works there? There's a business okay, here. We're this, not allowed. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, but can we stop dancing around? Like you, you call this here. You, yeah. Who, who works? Who, what company works? My here? name is Don Lewis. I'm a contractor, a security contractor, and I work for OpenAI. Access control is my job to make sure that the people that come through this door either have an ID card to get in here or an appointment to meet somebody who works here. <laughs> He's not an employee. He doesn't have anybody to meet here. When he showed up here, he told me, I'm quoting a tax law, Federal Law 26, and I want you to produce the tax returns for me. And I said, sir, yeah. I will take down your information. He showed me his driver's license, and I wrote it down, got his phone number and his email address, and I said, I will forward this through the proper channels. That's all I can do for you today. He says, that's not good enough. I'm coming in the building. And so I've been finding him at the store so for half open, an hour. So this open AI work here? Sir, a part of it does. But this isn't the headquarters. Got okay? it. So either way, even if he came in there, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to give There's nobody whatever. here, okay? okay? I'm the only guy so here. So is there somewhere you can direct? Is there an address we can direct him to? Not today. It's the day before Thanksgiving. No. Where's open AI headquartered? Well, that's really irrelevant to the situation. No, we're not trying to play games. We don't know, okay? We're just people who work here. So there's, there's not like an actual physical location? You know, if there is, I'm not privy to it. Look, I'm a security guard standing on the front lines, okay? This man is an open eye employee, all right? He's a very important employee for this company. And he's here today, but there's nobody else here today. For him to go and make a cold call, I, and I do this for a living, I've done it for six months, people want to come and is, cold is call. Is there a point of contact with someone that works at OpenAI that can at least try to help figure this out? Not today. It won't happen like that. There's not many, there's, we don't have a trouble desk that somebody can come in off the street and say, I want your attention today. Who's your supervisor? My supervisor is uh, actually the CEO of the company, so. And Sam Altman's not coming down here today to deal with this, I'm pretty sure. Is there like an email address that he can provide? He knows. He's told me that he's tried to put this through whatever his business is through channels before. And like I said, I would 
got his email. I will put his information through. Let our legal department, COO, whoever I need to, I will make sure that his information gets to them. Now, what they do with it is not anything I have control over. Can we possibly get him away from the door? Because I don't want to record anything to the door. Sure. I'm trying to run a business here. These people who come and work here deserve to come through their office doors, come and go without being harassed. We get people who come in here and harass often. It's not just him. There's a lot of people that want to come in here and barge in and talk with people. But the company's not structured to receive it that way. So you don't have a walk-in kiosk where anybody can come and talk to OpenAI. It doesn't exist. Is that like an HR person? We do. Do you have that third point contact? I have their name. I'm sure we could figure out the HR person's point of contact as far as an email or something. But I don't know what my policy is on giving out information, but I can tell you pretty, it's pretty low. You see what I mean? I'm not the information guy. I'm not authorized to give out information. My job is to work here at Access Control. Pass on the information through my chain of command to make sure that we let people know this gentleman was here and he had some business that he wanted to conduct concerning these tax returns. We'll put it up to the people that deal with that. Okay? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with letting him know that whatever he's seeking, he's not going to get here. Yeah. But just like that, he's not going to be like, oh, okay, see you. Well, I know. But that's what I'm saying. Is there someone that... Has you can tell him. Ride? No. There's not. We actually would like for him to be restrained from coming back here. Would you guys want to do that? You guys have to go to Forge McAllister and get a stay away order okay. for that. All right. We don't we don't issue a stay away order because right. the Thank judge you. that does it. Great. We'll do that another day. So today we just want to get through the day and have our employees be able to come and go at this site without being harassed. The public sidewalk, you can stand out there all day, but yeah. right up in here, and then every time somebody walks in, he's coming in, that can't happen. Yeah. Just have him go to the sidewalk. We have people cold call this place all the time. I'm a very important person. I have a bag of champagne, and I want to talk to Sam Altman. We don't take cold calls, and I know you're a very important person, right? Oscar Fisker came in one day, the guy that makes the Fisker electric cars. Okay, well, anyway, important people want to come in here, and we just, if everybody who wanted to come through the door, they let through, come through the door, they wouldn't put no, together. No, I agree with that. Okay. I mean, I'm just A big to, part of what they do is research. I'm just trying to figure out like a little middle ground for us to reach, right? I agree. On a day before Thanksgiving, there is no person that he's going to be able to talk to. And even if it was a regular day and we were going full boat and there was a million people here, I can tell you, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, we don't accept anyone coming to any of our doors of the buildings that we work and make a cold call and say, I insist on you doing business with me or somebody from that business doing business with me today. Yeah. We politely tell them, sir, unless you have an appointment to meet with uh, someone who works here mm -hmm. that we can confirm, or you have a card, an ID card that gets you in the building, uh, then you can't come in. Okay. And, and that's kind of how we, we deal with it. And like I said, he will tell you early on, I, 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 I have been working with you for half an hour. He says, you're nice, you're professional with me. It's just kind of after 30 minutes, of, you know what I mean, um, it's kind of critical where he's starting to push in past employees and now I'm concerned two or three times. If he's pushing by me while you two folks are here, I'm a little worried about that. Mm -hmm. We all are. Let me try talking to him. I, I don't... I don't really foresee that he will be just suddenly like, oh, okay. I guess as long as he goes to the sidewalk, people wait out there all the time. It's out of the doorway. Give me one second. Thank you. Oh, the, you can push. Uh, it's just a half push. This is Let me get you. How is me? Is this you? Aaron. Yes, do you? So, you're saying that whatever you're trying to look for, they can't provide it.
They can do it electronically. Well, I, I don't, I don't work here. Right? I don't. And they, they could be giving me the internet. I wouldn't know. But they're saying that no one here currently. Go ahead. David Gordy. That's not true. I, I, again, I don't work there. I'm not, I'm not disputing it. That's what they're telling me. All I get is that's what space value is. Um, they're okay if you record here because yeah, right. even they know that this is a public sidewalk. You have every right to be here, right? But the moment you start going through, I think they're gonna pursue criminal charges for trespassing. And, 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 and that's that's not where we're gonna decide. Like, oh, that's not trespassing because that's not where we're gonna we're gonna decide that at court, right? We're gonna let a judge decide that. They're okay with you and the sidewalk as long as you're not trying to go in with the right. with so their employees. What about the federal law that says I have the right to this information? You you have a right to request that information and it even says it in that thing that you said that they have to provide it to you within thirty days. No, that's in writing. If you show up in, in person it says immediately. Okay, the thing is, it doesn't sound like whoever is the person that can give you that information is here at the moment. Well, that's not so relevant. That's not for me. To that's, that's well, every, it, it is this, relevant every, because you're requesting something. The person that can give it to you is not there. It's electronic. Can so can't that. you send them an email then? I already did, but I'm here in person. Okay. But they, they, they're telling us there's no one in there that can give you that information today anyways. They're well, just security guards somebody, contracted by the... No, I understand that. So, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're kind of arguing with... You're, you're kind of arguing with them saying you're supposed to provide it for me. They don't have any way to provide it to you. can make a phone call to Jason Kwan and he can email it to me. That's very simple. Well, I can't make them call someone. No, but the IRS then, requires them to. That's whatever they do. That's their choice. I can't make them make a phone call. But you can inform them that I have the right to be in the building, so that that, that you don't have a right to be in the building. It's private property. It's you have a right to request the information that you're requesting. That this, I, this is private property. Not to it, the extent that I'm it's requesting. It's private property. It's private public property. Public document under federal. Your request is totally legal. Trespassing is not. I have to make the request at their headquarters under and the law. And they explain to you that the person that can give you that information is not there. Right. And, and now we're just going in circles. Yeah, right? I, I don't think you're really listening to what I'm saying. I, but, I am. I don't uh, think you're listening to me yeah. either. I understand your argument, but it's not correct. Well, well I'm just going to ask you just one last time. If you're, you're, you're fine by here, and I'm going to point in the same thing too, that if you want to stand by the sidewalk, which is public, public roadway, I get, uh, so your badge number is 1224. One, two, two, you can take mine too. I'm from Mission Station. Yeah, you can, if you want to make a complaint. No, I, I, don't, I don't want to make a complaint I mean, against you. I just, this is really important. And I think it's important that everyone's clear on exactly what happened. I, so. I'm just here to make sure that everyone, I, I'm not disputing your claims. I'm not disputing theirs. I, I want everyone to get what they want. Sure. But right now it seems like we're at a stalemate and we're unable to. Right. You're saying, don't. No, Give me everything they can give it to me right now i don't work here they're telling me the person that can give you that information is not here because it's the day before thanksgiving right. which is a valid i'm not saying it's true but it's a valid point no, I, there's I, a lot of places right now that they're closed already i don't yeah, know I, I don't make the, I, I don't work here i, I don't make the rules. i believe them i believe however people are not necessarily however, in this building. right now they're they're okay with you as long as you're standing in public roadway and not following in with employees that come here I'm just telling you I, this once. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them. Are you okay with that? Yes, I said. I'm, I'm gonna good. tell them that if it happens again, we're gonna come back and we're gonna go through the criminal route, and we can deal with all this with a judge. Good. Any questions? I'm not. I'm again. I'm not disputing what you're saying, but it seems like right now there's a stalemate, I mean, and and I, I I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you. I'm just telling you as someone who knows a bit about this that it's really disturbing to hear the police threaten a citizen with criminal charges for asking for public information under federal law. It's not we're for not, asking for information, it's for trespassing. But the trespassing doesn't Well, that's what I'm saying. You can figure it out in, in the court yeah, because this right. is a private property. Okay, I, and I, I, so I take your point. Okay, because it, it's not about your request. Well, the request has to be made in the building. I understand that, but you're saying... So if they're refusing entry to the building, they're violating federal law. And federal law supersedes state law. And trespassing is a state statute. It, it is. So it, what you're saying again, is incorrect. Well, they're just security guards. Well, they don't but have you're the a police officer. <laughs> right. Here's my question. Do you expect us to go show me the office, show me where the paperwork no, is? No, 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 like, no, not at all. So what exactly is it that I you're wanting? I expect you to tell them that I have the right to be right. in the building so to he, make the request. Right, so he told us that he has your information, he got it from your driver's license, he has your email and your phone number, and he's going to pass it through 
whatever channels he needs to to get to the right person. That He told us that. Okay. I don't know if he told you that. He told us that. And so what I'm assuming is that person, whoever the contact is, will get a hold of you regarding the information that you're requesting. Right. Um, because wh whoever that is is not here. I see. So okay. it, it's what we have. Yeah, I, I appreciate your comment. I tell you? You said they'll forward the information. Right. Very good. Yeah. Are you with the press? Uh, I work for a website that makes public information available, so more or less, yeah. Okay. And that's why the police are here. Thank you. 